In this problem, it says it took Valerie 80 minutes to drive 120 miles. The problem is asking us to establish how many miles per hour is this. One way to solve this problem is by creating a ratio table. The ratio in this problem is going to be minutes to miles. On this side, we are going to write minutes, and on the other side, we are going to write miles. Next, we are going to insert the information given in the problem, and it says it took Valerie 80 minutes to drive 120 miles. And we have to figure out how many miles per hour is this. In this problem, they want us to write how many miles that Valerie drove per hour. But notice, they gave us the unit of minutes. So one simple workaround for this is to write 60 minutes in our table. So now we have to write a number on this side of our table that will be equivalent to the rate of 80 to 120. One way that we can do this is to take a look at our original rate, which is 80 to 120, and reduce that fraction to lowest terms. So if we go to the side here and write that as a fraction, we can cancel out these zeros, and we reduce that to 8 over 12, and we may reduce that even further to 2 thirds. So what we are going to do is say that 80 to 120 miles is the same thing as 2 minutes for every 3 miles. Now what we can simply do is take this number 2 and see that it would take 30 of those to make 60. And what we have to do is also increase this number to the middle by the same factor and 3 times 30 is 90. Now we can say that if Valerie covered 120 miles in 80 minutes, at that same rate of speed, she will have covered 90 miles in 60 minutes, or we can say 90 miles per hour. One way to solve this problem is by taking 120 miles and dividing it by 80 minutes to see how many miles are covered per minute. 80 can be divided into 120 one time. 1 times 80 is 80, and the difference of 120 and 80 is 40. And if we place a decimal here and a decimal here, add a 0 and drop it down, we may divide 80 into 400, which is a total of 5. Now we know that Valerie covered 1.5 miles in one minute. However, the problem wants us to establish Valerie's speed per hour. And we know there are 60 minutes in one hour, so we may take 1.5 miles and multiply that by 60. If you ever have a zero in this position, simply drop that zero down and jump to the six right away. Six times five is 30. Place a zero here, carry the three. Six times one is six, plus three is nine. And because we have one place value after the total number of decimals in the problem, the same must be true in our answer, so our decimal placement is right here. So we would say that Valerie was traveling at a speed of 90 miles per hour.